this is not the first event uh, like this. They had an event in Chicago about 20 years ago that was a real welcome home for Vietnam vets because it did not have all the militarism and support and the hoorah that this had. And I can't understand how people, some who are Vietnam veterans, can use the vet in this way, knowing that they find out later that they were duped again. Today we will have hundreds of students at LZ Lambo, and those students will be presented with just a part of the reality of Vietnam. They won't be presented with the lying politicians. They won't be presented with the power of the military industrial complex to push its way through, even though the American people were against the war in Vietnam. They were not there then. They are here now, but for a different purpose. They are here because if they can display their wares, they can make more money. They can care less about the veterans. See, Lambo is not helping veterans realize what they went through, the lessons we learned from Vietnam, and what does that do to apply to what is going on today. A continuous war against terrorism, a war against ideas, and we have never won a war against ideas yet. I'm being here because early on, Elsie Lambeau had a different purpose. And over time, after certain contributions were made, it took a different turn where, in my opinion, it became a promotion of militarism, glorification of war, and recruitment all wrapped into one. Vietnam veterans were denied a welcome home. And the implication is that they were denied a welcome home by the peace movement. That's very, very false. All of the mayors, all of the city councils, village board presidents, county boards could all have welcome homes any time they wanted during the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and today. But they choose not to do that. So, as Martin Luther King said, when a nation puts material things, put military things, defense ahead of its people, it's dying a spiritual death. And I think America has been on an oxygen tank for years.